the intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about Voyager Part 1. Wrapping it up. Yep, it's done. It's over. But we got to talk about it. We got to grade it. And I've even made some changes to the grading rubric based on your feedback. So, of course, a couple things before we get into all this craziness is please, please, please share this out with your alliance and your Discord, even Facebook, Reddit, wherever, because the more participants we have, the more oomph this actually has in terms of feedback. Y'all's voice is what matters, not the sexy ginger beard. I promise it's all y'all. So, big thank you for making that happen. And also, stay tuned to the end of this video for a special shout out to a very special alliance. So, Let's go ahead and jump straight into this. For those who are unfamiliar with what we're going to be doing here today, we're going to be grading this past month. And we have a grading rubric that was created by myself, uh, an Archduke, who helped me put this together. Now, the slight change in this you'll see is we did adjust, or at least I adjusted, how we grade communication stability. Now, I waited until a new month to do that because, honestly, simple reason, I wanted to get through the quarterly review and then we're going to have a change here. So the next one is a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and select my level. Whoops, wrong one. My level range and my server and hit next. And we're going to start with the officers as we typically do. They had two officers this month. And honestly, I think both of them are must-haves long-term. The problem with them being must-haves is that you really don't know the sourcing mechanic yet. Now, we have more months multiple months of this storyline continuing so if you're curious about this we're going to have plenty of discussions in our discord but this is not the end of voyager we have at least two more months left so as we roll in we might see sourcing for them for now i'm actually giving the officers an a because i do believe that Bolana torres and the doctor are both must-haves i believe they really do contribute to the game in a very very positive way now are they necessarily elite officers no not in terms of like tier one and if you watch this and decide hey i'm gonna give it a b i completely understand i went really hard after the doctor because of renaissance man i think this is super important for your gameplay because it means more rep more armada loot more 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 and i'm always big on more is better so he's great for that while also giving you another mitigation officer. And I think you're going to see with the new officers rolling out, this is going to give you a whole nother crew for fighting Armadas and for doing PVE, which I think long term looks really good if you're a regular player in the game. If you don't care about these things, then maybe you don't have as much value. Alana Torres has two very unique abilities with the armor piercing, the piercing boof that you get, big boof boof. And honestly, I think both of hers need to be leveled to be great. But I think in terms of value, if you get sourcing for these, these are A officers. Whether we end up getting that, we'll just have to wait and see. But in terms of game impact, these are very, very good for you as a player. So it's really hard for me to give them a knock besides the sourcing mechanic, which is a unknown at the moment. Hopefully, we get the answer to that very soon. So I'm going to give that an A personally and move on to the next set. But again, uh, this is just me giving you my opinion. Y'all can disagree. I strongly encourage you to give your honest opinion of what you think. And if you have a disagreement with me, please vote. The link to this is in the Discord. It's in the comments. It's everywhere. It's on Facebook. Please participate the way your thoughts get in. It doesn't have to be just what Rev thinks. Let's talk about the features, which I'll be honest. I'm hit or miss on the feature in terms of is it top tier like let me bring up, for example, here in the background, the Artifact Gallery. Just kind of have a background drop. I love the Artifact Gallery and the Artifact System. I'll admit it. I do. It's a collection system for really cool Star Trek-friendly, lore-friendly items. Like, for example, this in the background. You've got the Shield of Pericles. And it is given to Captain James T. Kirk to the Plutonian people for his involvement in saving their leader. The fact that we actually have Star Trek lore... And the fact that this is not just mitigation that you went in bought. These are actually, you have to participate, run through formation armadas, and adapt and overcome and earn them. I love that. And that means that you can't just be a spender and immediately have them all. I guess you could, theoretically, because there is no cooldown on the premium. And in theory, you could just spend thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of dollars and then run through the RNG. But I don't know any even heavy spenders that did that. So... I personally love this aspect. That comes to the grading part, though. And see, here's the tricky part of the grading. 
Did this add to the game in a positive manner? I 100% agree. Did it drastically change gameplay? I don't think they did. I do think it's a good improvement overall. And I think in terms of how we source researches and stuff, this is a fantastic way to do it. I wouldn't mind if we had even more get added here long term. Like instead of adding just new research trees, we're just adding artifacts in. I think that's really neat. Maybe I'm wrong there, but I love it. Formation armadas or friend armadas as I call them, I'm a big fan of. I will say that there's some things I'm not real big on. I hate the three day, three day timer on this. It's stupid, especially for those of you who've earned so much extra currency. So in terms of that, I give it a B. I will admit, power creep aside, and yes, I do still think that power creep is a serious problem. I give it an A. I truly do think it is that good. So my opinion, I love the artifact gallery, but let's keep moving on. It's uh, it's not going to stay positive, I, I promise. Not everything can be positive. The event calendar, I loved the event this month. I thought that the Ark Runner, for the most part, did a fantastic job. And the reason I say that is there's going to be some things that I hated this month, but most of the things that happened this month that I have serious issues with aren't like in the game. They were actually outside the game. The Star Trek Fleet Command space snafus or the SCFC space snafus, you know, the lack of communication just in general. You know, most of that was outside of like this control. Then I've also got a serious issue with the primes. But that's again outside of like this person's control. The Arc Runner doesn't control that. So the event calendar, I actually really like the value. I went in track and thank you to Ripper for launching the other version of FCFC.space so I could see the events. I went and looked at players in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and saw what the events are paying out. For the most part, I think it was a great set of months. I will still say that the players in the 50s out there, so yes, giving the 50 players a little bit of a shout out here, it's still a little bit of a problem for them. It wasn't honestly great for all the events there. But generally speaking, I feel like there were really good payouts. There was enough events to where you could choose to skip some if you wanted to, or if you decided to do all events, good payouts. That's an A for me, which means I'm giving it an A, which four more points. It's very positive month overall. Most of my negatives are outside of the game. And here's where we get to some of our negatives. And this is where I said I changed up a little bit. Communication and grading communication. I'll be honest, y'all. This is a little bit different of a layout, but here's what we're doing. Good uses of game news, social media, keeping players informed. Solid communication with some delays, sparse communication, lack of communication as in radio silence, and then below none or tone deaf. Tone deaf being, we're not really addressing the problem, we're kind of speaking around the problem. My personal opinion, it was an F. I just, everything about the communication this month, I just felt like was lacking. This is my personal opinion. I feel like you didn't really use, you know, a lot of the in-game features. I don't really feel like there was much activity on social media. And in fact, today, there was more post made today, like on the Discord from the official team after the arc than was kind of made over the past week and a half. Again, this is me not trying to take shots or anything. I, I appreciate the incursions announcement. We know what's coming. Today, we got the announcement that if you missed it, we got Crucible of War, Hostile Hunt, Faction Hunt, a normal one week follow through. Love it. But I think we've got like four or five communications today. A lot of that was because the APAC servers went down. And that was no, that's an issue. It's a serious issue. And I appreciate it. Those communications so that's good we like it when they communicate that's that's appreciated so just in general over the month though maybe i'm being a little bit harsh here but i just feel like nobody really got the communication they sought and desired so i personally had a real disappointment with that now in terms of stability for the game i do think that there were some bugs but i don't think there was anything game ending in terms of just like monumental collapses or problems etc so i'm gonna give it a b I don't feel like it was a perfect month, but I don't feel like it was a bad month. That's basically what I'm saying with the B. There were some issues, some delays with events, things like that, but it wasn't serious for most people. It wasn't game breaking. Now, there are still bugs with things like the Zoom issue on Galaxy or Samsung devices, Android devices. It is on a little bit of other things. But generally speaking, I felt like game stability was solid this month until today, which... It's technically after the arc. The APAC servers literally collapsed today. But that's after the arc. So if I if that had happened literally three days ago, we'd probably been talking about this being a D month, but it ended up being kind of fine. So now I give it three points. So that's ended up for me a total of 15 points. 
and that's a what 20 point maximum so 75 percent it ends up being a c c plus month i think that's solid you know it's it's exactly as it sounds was it world changing no it wasn't but was it really positive Were the payouts really good were the officers good still need sourcing and we can talk about lowering that sourcing or that grade later maybe if sourcing ever comes kind of like with the odo you know jadzia dax thing but for right now i think it was a good month i think it improved the game i think it made a lot of fun things happen in the game i thought it was overall good but i of course want to know your comments down below let me know what you thought did you think it was good now this video we're done get the comment section if you want the link to that share it out with everybody we got to give a special shout out to a special, very special in my opinion, <laughs> Alliance on Server 121, who also wanted to help make this video possible. So, here's who you should join. Wait, I don't want to give it away. No, just run it. Well, hello there. Are you from Server 121? Maybe a little bored of playing, you know, Settlers of Blame Cathan or whatever? Well, I've got news for you. You should totally join Sith on Server 121, the biggest, baddest, best alliance with more members, more armadas, more jokes, more mayhem, and more excitement. What are you afraid of? There's nothing to fear at all except your own failure. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to dominating leaderboards. And if you want to be the best, join Sith today. Do it now. We're accepting all newcomers. Everybody. You can join. I can join. We can join. Join Sith. Server 121, you heard it here. Be strong. Be Sith. Oh, I, don't, I don't know what that was. It was like the life force of hundreds of chicken dances were paid all at once. Frightening. Shout out Server 121. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.